Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It, it's good to be back. Um, we're going to get into, we're going to do our Haney uh, Loma prediction and preview show. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, so let's get into today's show. Um, the big fight tomorrow, Haney Loma. I, I've changed my mind on this. I've gone back and forth, right? Uh, I'm picking Haney to win the fight, but I think this fight is is really competitive. It's really close, right? Uh, two weeks ago, you know, I said, all right, you know, Haney's just going to wash him. Like he's, Haney's just going to dominate him. Loma's shot. He's, he's passed it. Um, he hasn't really looked like the Loma of old in recent fights. Um you know, it looks like he never really got all the way back after the Teal loss. Um, you know, he's had quality wins since then. Nakatani was a good one. Uh, and the Komei fight, eh. And the Jermaine Ortiz fight, uh, he may have not deserved a decision in that fight. Uh, and, that, and that sets up this. Um, you know, that sets up this fight with Haney. Uh, and, 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 and Haney has, has just been... You know, I, I say it's a war path, but it doesn't really knock people out. Um, but the, the wins over Cambosis, the win over Jojo Diaz back in late 2021, which I thought was sensational. Um, you know, he was in the running for fighter of the year in 2022. Uh, you know, the win over L- Linares, Diaz, he, you know, he's been good. And then 2022, he's been good. He, he's been really good. Um, you know, not really... You know, JoJo won a few rounds. Lenar's won a few rounds, right? Uh, but he's been dominant. He's been really, really dominant. So uh, thinking about it initially, I was like, you know, he, he's going to wash Loma. But then I really got thinking about it, right? What's the pairs to victory? What are the pairs of victory, right? Well, the pairs of victory for, for Devin Haney is going to be what it is in every single fight. He's got to stand on the outside. He's got a box. He's got to move. He's got to not trade too much, right? And he's got to avoid getting hit with big shots. Um, he's, he's the bigger, stronger guy. He's much bigger. He's stronger. He's freakishly strong for that size and really big. I don't know how long he's going to be able to fight at 35. He's got to use his speed, and he's got to use uh, his reach and, and, and keep Loma off of him. If, and it's a big if, and this is why it gets interesting, if Loma can consistently get on the inside, Get on the inside. Catch him coming and going, right? Get on the inside, slip on the inside, and work on the inside. Score on the inside, slide out, right? Uh, and hit him on the way out. If he can do that, if he can work his angles, like like the Matrix can, like he's done in the past, he's going to win the fight, right? If he can do that, if he can execute that, if he can get in, work, slide out, he's going to win the fight. And if he can hit him on the way out, he's going to win the fight. Haney's not that good on the inside. Loma is, but Loma's got to be able to get on the inside. Can he do it enough? You know, he couldn't do it with, with, with Teal enough because Teal can punch. Haney can't punch like Teal. So I'm not saying he can just walk through Haney's shots like cupcakes, but maybe he can. We're going to find out, right? If, if I, I think that if this was the Haney, I mean the Loma, that fought, Tio, I, I think he would win. Now it's just how much Tio is, is, how much Loma is left in the tank. 
Um, it's going to be an interesting fight. And, and officially my prediction is I'm going to take Haney. Um, I, I think he just wins more rounds. Like, I don't know how else to put it, right? I, I think we're going to have – it's going to be close. I'm in 115, 113, a fight like that. Um, but I, I, I think Haney's just going to win more rounds. He's, he's going to win early, you know, when, when Loma is downloading information, a.k.a. losing rounds. Um, and I, I think he's going to fall behind. I think he's going to work his way back into a fight. But I, I think ultimately, once he tires again because he is old, you're going to see – and we shouldn't be – Loma's not that old, right? Like, 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 like Dev is 24, so he's, he's young. Just now, maybe, just beginning to enter his physical prime. Loma's 35, which is old, right? But he's not like ancient. He's not 40. This is his last, this is his last best shot, right? Um, and, and he's got to work his angles. He's got to get in and out on him. And I, I think he is going to fade down the end. I think when he fades down the end, it's not that Haney is, is doing anything spectacular. He's just doing what he does, and it's enough to win those rounds. So he's going to win rounds early. Loma's going to rally in the middle of the fight, and then Haney's going to seal the deal as Loma begins to, to fatigue, being you know 11 years older than, um, than Haney. So that's my prediction. I, I think it's a tough, competitive fight. I, I, I think both guys have a clear path to victory. Uh, but ultimately, I, I, th- and I, I may go back and forth on this right now. Check my check my Twitter, 3 Boxing Blog uh, on Twitter. I, I, I'm officially going to go with Haney, but I may change that. So if I if I do change that in the next you know 24 hours or so, um, <laughs> I will put it up there. But officially now. I'm going to take Haney by, by close, close decision. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Leave your comments. Leave your predictions. Leave how, you know, what you think of my prediction. Um, it is, uh, again, uh, 3D Boxing. Follow me all from social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. A quick hits every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Also, follow our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is May 20th. 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. 